Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? This is Reese or Cub and welcome back to another YouTube video and uh, this is of course Tech It. I'm sure a lot of you've been waiting for this judging by the comments that say we want more. Bring us more, bring us more. I am here to deliver more, hopefully more regularly. Um, I am still very busy, that hasn't changed, but uh, I plan to try to make this more of a priority since it seems to be what everyone loves the most. Uh, all of that said, I've got something new to show you guys. So me and my little brother have been watching the Axcast series, their their Quest to the Moon series, whatever it's called. I can't really remember the name, but I'm sure everyone here has seen it and knows what it is. That's kind of like our bonding times. So we'll like, watch the Axcast together. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a great brother. But anyway, they have this hats mod in their in their mod pack, and it is fantastic. It is great. I love it. It's funny. So I went ahead and added it to attack it. So if you hit H, you'll see we already have some hats that I found. I found the, uh, of course, this is this is uh, Pikachu. Let me take off my hat because they just they don't make any sense with the hat on. So here we got a raccoon hat. We got Ash's cap, and we've got Pikachu. Although it isn't Pikachu, it's the Musical Boy '93. But let's face it. I mean, look at that. That is so totally Pikachu. But I like the raccoon hat. I like to pretend I'm Davy Crockett, Texas hero. Hoorah! And looking back on it, this isn't as great as I thought it would be. I think the problem is that this is single player and it's funnier in multiplayer, but I still like having hats. I like looking for hats, so we're going to keep it around. Now, I asked in the last video what you guys wanted to do, and thankfully, all of you said the exact same thing I wanted to do, which was um, <laughs> Atomic Science. The name completely slipped my head. I was about to say Nuclear Reactor, because that's what I think of when I think of Atomic Science. Now, of course, you can't just start at the nuclear reactor. you got to start with um, the, the fission reactor, which means we're gonna have to build a few things. Now, the first thing you gotta do is find some uranium. So I've had, well, let's go over here. As you guys know, in our other world, we have some quarries running. I've been looking for uranium. What the heck? Where are the zombies? That was scary. There shouldn't be zombies here. I thought this world was forever, forever day. No. Oh, maybe it just is really slow time passing, which is gonna be horrible. Because that means once the sun does completely finally set, oh, it's going to be dark for a really long time. Okay, well, that's a bit of a downer. I don't even know why I'm here. Like I was saying, I've had these quarries running. I've been trying. Oh, let's get back over here where I can hear what I'm doing. Whew. I've been trying to get some more uranium. Unfortunately, all I've been able to find is five pieces. So we have five pieces of uranium ore to work with. Hopefully, we'll find more as the, the time progresses. But as of right now, we've got five pieces. So we'll have to make dues with that. Now, the first thing we need to do is we got to turn this uranium into uranium hexafluoride. I think I said that right. For that, we'll need a nuclear boiler. No. Why am I typing it up there? I don't have one. <laughs> I was trying to find the recipe. There we go. Nuclear boiler, which as you can see is steel plates and then a whole bunch of really basic stuff. Now, steel plates is new to me. I've never used atomic science before. Uh, so I was fiddling around with it beforehand, and as you can see, you don't really get, like, if you go into steel plates, it just shows you use steel. If you click on steel, it just steel plates the runaround. What you got to do, though, is you got to look down here, and you'll see steel dust. Now, this is the key. This is what you got to do here. You got to take your iron, surround it with coal, because in every video game, all you do to make steel is get some iron and get some coal. If you've ever played uh, RuneScape, for example, this is how you do it. So I already made some of this stuff, and... So if you look up here, we'll see that I have five pieces of steel. Now, we're going to need more than that, so that gives me a chance to show you guys how we made it. But I just wanted to go ahead and do it off camera to make sure I knew what I was doing. Now, we're going to need quite a bit of this stuff, I think. We'll go ahead and make... I've got five now. We'll make five more, or 15, and that'll give us a total of 20. We'll throw it in the furnace, toss it in there, and we'll let that run. In the meantime, let's get a steel plate built at least. Oh, right. I have these stuff in my inventory. There we go, one steel plate. Oh, and we have enough for two now, so that's two out of the way. What else are we gonna need here? Let's go ahead and pull this up and it'll show us what we need. Okay, we need two furnaces is what we're missing. Very easy to build. Two furnaces, steel plates. Ooh, we're close. We're cooking, we're cooking with electricity. I was about to say we're cooking with fire, but that that is not quite true. There we go, one more, and... Oh, come on. There we go, our steel plate, and now we can build our nuclear boiler. And in case y'all didn't catch that a second ago, this is going to be used to turn our uranium into uranium hexafluoride, which is essential for building a fission reactor. You can't just start with a fusion reactor. you got to start small, work your way up. 
So this thing is going to need water and power. And as you can see, I've already ran both of those right over here. We're going to plunk it down so that water goes into the side. We're going to have electricity in the back. I don't, I'm not sure that it matters where it goes, but I think for, for our particular setup, this is what's going to work the best. So if we open it up, we'll see it is now full of water. If we dump the uranium in there, oh, wrong side, it'll start to churn through it. And very slowly, if we are patient, it will do some magic. Uh, I got to keep you guys entertained in the meantime. Um, da 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 da. Hey, da 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 da. Ah, good, it's done. So there we go. We got our uranium hexafluoride. Now we've got to do something else with that, which requires a centrifuge. Now the centrifuge. I was also looking at that earlier. There it goes. Cent cent a centrifuge, not centrifuge. A centrifuge. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Nuclear. Nuclear power. There we go. Uh, I am Texan. You'll have to excuse it. Bronze, bronze plate, bronze, bronze plate. If you go through here, you I mean, bronze, it, it doesn't really help you at all, does it? It doesn't actually tell you how to make bronze. Actually, I had to hop on the wiki for this one, and I learned something very interesting. Did you know that if you open up the induction smelter and you click on the recipes thing here in the middle? Right, did you even know that that was a recipes thing? I didn't. I thought it was just a progress bar, but apparently if you click on it, you can see all the things you can make in an induction smelter. And if you just kind of flip through here enough, you will eventually land on this page where it shows you that in order to make a bronze ingot, you have to use three copper ingots and one tin ingot. So hope that saves you some some stress because if you go into here and you just try to find it, you'll you'll get the runaround. It, it will not show you how to make it. It just it's it's very unhelpful. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. It shows you right there. I take that back completely. I was absolutely wrong. I, j I guess I never saw that. There you go, though. But still, that's a pretty cool trick, and that works on everything. You can just go in here, and there it is. So, wow. So my blindness. That's that's my bad. What you're going to need, though, is some copper. And we've got tons of that. And you're going to need some tin. Again, plenty of that. It's the benefits of having a whole bunch of quarries running constantly. So we're going to need more copper than we will tin, actually. Need about three times more, so we'll get a full stack of that. There we go, and this stuff is getting churned out pretty quick. Go ahead and grab the eight of these. Run back over here. Okay, now what else am I going to need for this build? Some pistons? Let's go ahead and build those, because that's a pretty quick and easy build. So get the two of those out of the way. Some more steel plates, so let's build a... Oh, we only have enough for one more. Hmm. Well, that's sad. I guess we should get a few more of these and get them cooking. And while that's going, we'll hop back over here and let's see an advanced circuit. Now that's going to need some basic circuits, which is going to need some bronze plates, which, okay, we're going to need a lot of bronze. So that's good. It's good that we're making a whole lot of this. Let's throw the rest of that in there. Keep things going. Now. Hmm, where to start? Where to start? Where to start? Oh, okay, we have another option. We can use steel plates, but I think since we have so much bronze plate being used, we ought to use that. Copper wire is going to need wool and some copper, and we don't have wool. How can I not have wool? Well, it's okay. We can go shear some. I mean, I've got... I rebuilt my power fist, and I do have a shearing option. Too bad there's just not a whole lot of sheep around here. Um, I only ever got around to... To getting three of them. Oh, no, there's four in here. Look at that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. The cows are making a lot of noise considering they aren't the ones getting sheared here. So, we'll navigate our way back into here. And we... Do we... What? Do we actually need those different colors? I don't think we do. Surely we don't. There we go. I was about to say, look at all the wool we do have, though. Oh, I see. Maybe it was trying to place those particular those particular colors in here. That's just strange and sad in so many ways. All right. Well, we've got that out of the way. And sleep bronze plate. Hmm. Curious. Some of the things aren't working. A couple of bronze plate. Should be able to build... What? What? Let's put them back in here, along with the wires. There we go. Maybe that was the problem, is that we didn't actually have them... We didn't actually have them in there. There we go. Basic circuits. A couple of those. A 
And that gives us our advanced circuit, and hopefully we only needed one. Yep. We'll feed all of that back into the machine. Might as well feed all of it back in the machine. What am I missing? Bronze ingots. We have lots of bronze ingots. I was under the impression we had lots of bronze ingots. Are they not getting pulled out of here? Look at that. We don't have an export on the in induction smelter. Well, that's just criminal. That is unacceptable. That's un-American. Okay, and what goes down here? Another steel plate? Another steel plate. Whew, finally, a centrifuge. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the, all that this thing requires is power. So, energy conduits, check. Let's drop back down here. Now, in order to get this stuff out, you can either pump it over or you can just plop this thing right next to it. And then, yeah, it'll automatically fill up. So that's, that's, that's a good deal right there for you. And there you go. As you can see, it is slowly processing our uranium. And I guess we can go ahead and dump it all into the nuclear boiler and let that get started. I wonder if this is putting a big strain on our power. No, actually, it's holding out just fine. Let's see if we, let's say we lowered this to, oh, I don't know, 20% output, 10%, 5%, 0%. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that these things are running without any energy. That's very strange to me because I know for sure they have to have power. Hmm. Maybe it's a bug in the system. Who could say? All right, so this thing just finished. I went ahead and cut off the power because what it gave me was a breeding uranium. And I'm not sure what the heck. Oh, gosh, what happened? Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Um, 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 put that back. Put that back. Uh... Put it back. Uh, okay. Right. So I completely forgot that when you're handling uranium, it is it is a dangerous substance, and you're supposed to have a suit for this. Let's see if we can get this thing up here quickly enough to dump it into the storage system. Oh. Oh. We need to build uh hazmat. Hazmat suit. Oh, dear. Is this going to kill us? I think this might kill us. Yeah, this is, this is going to kill us, guys. I didn't want to be... I, I mean, I don't want to, like, depress anyone here, but I think that, the, yeah, this isn't going to, this isn't going to end well. Let's go ahead and see what we need for the hazmat suit, though. So we need leather, and we need wool, and we need a basic circuit, and it looks like that's, hmm, at least in life now, maybe I'll, I'll have, I'll have better luck. So let's see, do we actually have any leather stuff? I know we have some leather armor, but we might not be able to, be able to use damaged armor. Hmm... Hmm. So I guess we can, should kind of start with the basic circuits. We're going to have to have more of these. And I think that we're probably missing bronze plates. That's probably the first thing we should build. So how many of these am I going to need? I'm going to need one basic circuit. So four. I'm going to need four of these things. So one, two, three, four. Four of those. Next up, the actual basic circuit itself. One, two is all we're going to be able to make until we get some more. So we get some more of these copper wires. Really didn't want to have to mix up wools here, but we are kind of running low. So there's 12 wires. Okay, so there's four of those. Now we have the problem in that we don't have enough wool to actually build the armor, the hazmat suits. So it means we're going to have to go back out here to our, our poor sheep. So we're probably feeling overused already, overtaxed, and, and probably unloved. I have infinite resources at my command. Surely there's a better way of getting wool. Wool, 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 wool. I want a wool. String? I can make it with string. I can use wool. Um, string. How much string do I have back at the base? See, it'd be great if there was a... Let's see. Hold on. Let's just figure this out first. Help if I spelled string correctly. There we go. Now, of course, this means we won't have any string left, but, I mean, honestly, how often do you use string? That's what I thought. So, a hazmat suit. Let's just go ahead and get a leather cap. And our wool. And we'll surround this thing with the wool. And we'll get our circuit. There it is. Mm, I didn't figure that would work, to be honest with you. I thought you'd probably need a new one. And, of course, now we have the situation that we don't have any leather. I think we can use rotten flesh, though, to alleviate that problem. If I can get some rotten... Oh, good grief. Yeah, we got lots of rotten flesh. 
I think you can throw that in a furnace, and I know at least in Hexit, it will turn it into... It's not working here. All right, so apparently Rotten Flesh does not turn into leather here. Sorry, kids at home. That's not going to work, which means we're going to have to go butcher some cows. See, I was actually under the impression that the world's cow population was going to go extinct today. Yeah, we'll take that. But um, judging by all the cows I'm finding, I don't think that that's going to happen. Whoa, this place is awesome. No, I never found this place before. Wow. All right, well, time to stay on target, though. I think we probably have enough wool. Or not wool, but um, cow hide to get the job done. Where are the carrots? Give me the carrots. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's see. What do we need to do here? Ah, body, boots, leggings, and mask. So let's... Ooh, this is going to be difficult because we're going to have to go down there. And then change because otherwise... Oh, darn it. We left the stuff upstairs. Oh, well. So what I didn't understand, though, is what I got out of this because if we look in here... We have two different kinds of uranium, and they're used to do two different things. We have a breeding uranium and an enriched uranium. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of wikiing on this before we continue any. If you know what the difference is, or if it does matter, let me know in the comments now, because I'm going I'm to go ahead and call, call this video. I know you're probably thinking, no, Reese, it's so short. Please do more. Make it longer. I kind of have something I'm supposed to be doing right now, so I think I'm going to go do that. You guys comment below. Let me know if it matters if I use breeding or enriched, or if you don't, I'll have to look up at the wiki and... It, it, that'll work, but I'm lazy. And if you want to, if you want to feed my laziness, that'd be great. As soon as I know, I'll hook back up the centrifuge. I need to work out a better way to get up and down from there to here. Maybe using dimensional doors, probably. That'll that'll make things a little bit easier on me. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.